What's the question for today? Which country's capital is growing the fastest? Ireland. Every day it's Dublin. Hi everyone, my name is Maciek and some of you might know me from various MEF events. I represent Enexo here and in the near future we'll be making a series of short videos covering some of the topics related to the comms industry APification. A topic for today. When I speak with our clients, I frequently hear a question like, okay guys, MEF APIs, we do get it, but our group strategy is actually to follow TM Forum Open APIs. So what's the difference? Let me try to explain that in brief. Both MEF and TM Forum are communications industry associations whose mission is to drive collaboration between different companies in the industry. Service providers, technology suppliers, consultancies and systems integrators. They provide a platform to exchange ideas, but also drive work to convert best practices into formal industry standards. Now a bit of opinion. My opinion is that TM Forum was always quite generic, covering industry quite widely, but really originating from big B2C mobile operator use cases. While MEF started as Metro Ethernet Forum with a laser sharp focus, they did a groundbreaking work to standardize carrier Ethernet services and provide a foundation for today's Ethernet interoperability. Only in the recent years, their focus expanded to other areas, but still very much around wholesale and enterprise industry segment use cases. Both MEF and TM Forum publish industry standards which are worked upon in committees formed by participating member companies. Now, what standards they produce? For many years, TM Forum flagship standard was their frameworks, a set of guides or blueprints for CSPs providing best practices on how to design business processes data models and IT applications. Then uh, TM Forum started to heavily focus on APIs following what I call microservice revolution. They overlaid frameworks with an idea of industry standard open APIs, aiming to facilitate integration between different systems, having that plug and play vision. To give you an example, TMF673 is a geographic address management API that TM Forum developed, and it's basically a guideline on how applications should expose address management capabilities. Also recently, TM Forum announced a new initiative, new concept, ODA, Open Digital Architecture, but on that, we'll probably cover that in a separate episode. Now on to MEF. After they dealt with the carrier Ethernet, I think it was around 2016-17, they started to work towards inter-provider standardization. The need for standards arose from the fact that there is no single operator that can provide a global network coverage and all CSPs need to rely on buying and selling to expand their network reach. Use cases are different, frequently it's last mile access, but also backbone or diversity. Now, comparing TM Forum and MEF, I'd circle back to the opinion piece that TMF standards are quite generic. They do specify APIs, but frequently you'd realize they lack concrete details on how to actually use them. And MEF tries to fill that gap. MEF standards are very specific and very much wholesale carrier market focused. They provide description of business processes or use cases between buyers and sellers together with, with steps that are needed to perform certain end-to-end -end flows, like, for example, uh, purchasing a service. Now a thing of a beauty. MEF is actually reusing TM Forum APIs in their standards. The same TMF 673 geographic address management we talked about 
is used by the MEF address validation step, which is the first step in LSO Sonata buyer seller negotiation flow. So when you're asking yourself, should I implement TMF or MEF? It's actually not an alternative. MEF embodies TM Forum and makes it concrete. It specifies how to use TMF APIs in the sequence to execute end-to-end -end business process. When you're implementing MEF, you're also implementing TMF compliant APIs as well. So that's it for today. In the subsequent videos, we'll try to dig a little deeper into MEF LSO APIs to explain the idea and mechanics behind them. Let us know if you liked the video. Feel free to follow our APification channel. And if you have any questions you'd like us to tackle and cover in the next videos, let us know in the comments. Cheers.